Hey there, hello there, and greetings. I'm Aaron, and this is Camp Peculiar, a channel for visual storytellers who are interested in using AI art to support their web comics or their animated stories. Let's talk about making a comic for Instagram. Starting an Instagram web comic series using Mid Journey or Stable Diffusion. And I'll tell you what, coming up on this very video here in just a few seconds, I've got a free and pretty great Instagram comic template. Why did I take forever to say comic? It's a short word, and two of the letters are Cs. I've got an Instagram <laughs> Instagram comic template for you to start your projects from. We'll take a look at that in a second. Uh, so I'm transitioning the Camp Peculiar web comic, which is currently on Webtoons. I'll keep it there, maybe add some new episodes. And as I made that transition, this is where I started. I think it's a fantastic place for you to start, or at least help me with. And that is thinking, what type of comic do you want to start on Instagram? Now, there's only one question mark on the end of that particular question, but it's really a two-part question. So it should have two question marks. And, and here's the two questions. What's the format and what's the premise? What do you want the format of your comic to be? And what do you, what's the premise of your comic? Or said another way, what types of things will your comic say? And how will you package those sayings or those comments? So what is it? And how are you going to package it? Unlike Webtoon, which seems slightly more story-driven, or at least run-on, slice-of-life story-driven, here's what seems to work better on Instagram. I got four different kind of formats or basic types of comics maybe we can think about starting a Instagram comic with. That would be the, the joke, the gag, or the bit comic. Those are going to be writing a lot of gags or bits, and these usually center around irony. The next type is observations, and observations tied closely with frustrations. The third type would be pop culture comments or reviews. And the last type would be celebrating, acknowledging, having fun with a person, a place, or a specific date. I think you can sum all of those up by saying kind of what seems to work best for Instagram is a slice of life, a slice of humor, a slice of knowledge, or a slice of experience. Of course, you don't have to do that. You can write a full-fledged multi-tome uh, epic, you know, four-part tranquility and, and give that a shot, but that's what I've noticed seems to work best. So that was part one of this two-part question. What is the format or what type of comic you're going to make? Let's talk about the premise. That is how you're going to say what you have to say. The premise brings up the idea of a hook or what are the boundaries that your comic doesn't usually go beyond? What's the larger setting? So if you're doing jokes, what types of jokes and who is the person that's typically making those jokes? So if you do a pop culture observation comic, that is the type or the format of the comic, but the premise could be from the perspective of a medieval royal person. So you take somebody that's from medieval ages, bring them into the future and have them comment on pop culture. You talk about what happened on a particular date, but from the premise that this person doesn't get excited about anything. You could do a slice of life, but from a graveyard. Or you could do a video game review comic. That's the type or the format. The premise could be that each review is only one word or further that that word is made up or even further that that made up word can't have any vowels in it. Worth noting after you figure out the type of the comic, the premise of the comic, there's also something called tone, which is closely related, but has more to do with the personality and emotional conveyance of those personal things. Conveyance, it's a word that's often used when talking about theme parks and how you get around a ride. But I used it here to talk about feelings and emotions, which I, you know, I feel pretty good about that. Also worth noting is you don't have to have any of these things at all. You can just open up Photoshop or whatever image editing program you like to use, have any idea come to your head, write it down, generate some kind of prompt from mid-journey, throw it behind it, and call it a day. Essentially, that's all that we're doing anyways. The things I'm outlining in this video, I hope just help with setting expectations with your readers so they know what they're likely to get from a comic strip by you and maybe help some planning and some scalability and some longevity of your particular project. So you know the type of comic you're going to start. You have kind of a funnier, clever hook or premise for it. Let's talk characters, recurring characters. Recurring characters, and by that I mean characters that are going to appear in lots of different comic strips and in lots of different poses and situations in those comic strips. Those tend to be the hardest ones. I have a few videos on it. It's an evolving topic, and the process is getting better and better. I suggest if you're going to do that, that maybe get some of the legwork of that out of the way first by generating that character, trying to get three or five basic emotions from mid-journey or stable diffusion and creating a character sheet so that you know you're going to be able to uh, create freely with that character. 
a stable of non-recurring characters or what I would call disposable characters is a little bit easier. Uh, this is good for like the graveyard premise. If you're doing slice of life observations from a graveyard, then each ghost character could be different every time. You're just going to want to like work on that seed to make that art look good. Uh, but then whatever character you get, you can kind of write a comic just around that. A great example of this is by the non-AI comic artist and writer Max Cannon, who writes Red Meat. You can check it out at redmeat.com. This comic has a stable of recurring characters, but almost always in the same pose, and the settings behind them are very basic. And this lends itself very well to AI art. To, to let AI art create your stable of characters and then just barely change the facial expression when your comic calls for a happy character, get the happy character. But don't get the sad character and try to make him happy. Just use your happy character and write the comic around that particular character. Also keep in mind that these don't have to be human characters and things like rocks, trees, cars, and all those sorts of things have other types of benefits for AI stuff. Mostly they're easy to manipulate and you don't have to put them in positions of them running or throwing their hands up the air or something like that. All right, it's time to get into production. Hey, remember that free Instagram comic template that I talked about, uh, the one I made in Photoshop, and you can use it in whatever program you can open a PSD with. Well, you're going to go over to camppeculiar.com if you want to. Click the resources button or scroll down there. Find that Instagram square comic template. You can just click that button right there and download that. It's got a ton of stuff in it. Check this out. It's got uh, first an example comic, which you can delete and should delete. And then it has folders that have start pages that allow for you to put a title and credits at the top. It has middle pages where there's not room for that. And then it has end pages where it uh, has room for credits and social stuff at the bottom. Also has two or three of these recap things that you'll see on Instagram where after you've done the swiping of the images, uh, you recap all the panels on one particular image just in a lot smaller form. All right, so let's go over the process that I use to create a comic for the at Camp Peculiar Instagram comic account. You should give it a follow. If you did, you would be follower number five, which is a, you know, it's a very important position for the, the canonical history of the Camp Peculiar webcomic. So the type of comic that this is on Instagram is more of a uh, thoughts and observations uh, and gags is what I would say. And the premise is, uh, what if you had a YouTube channel that explained uh, using AI art for visual storytelling and needed to produce a comic pretty much every day in order to build new skills and understand pitfalls and things? It's a very long and unappealing premise, but that's pretty much what the premise of this comic is. All right, so I came up with this gag, and the gag is a couple in an art gallery, and, and one of them is like, is that a Picasso? And the other one's like, no, it's a mid-journey. And then they're like, well, we should get their autograph. So that's the gag I came up with. Step number one, it's time to prompt it up. So I went on to Mid Journey and typed in couple in an art gallery, looking at a painting, pen and ink, comic style, whatever. Got lucky on this one. One of the first few images that came up was pretty much what I was looking at. Generated a ton of variations. This is what tends to happen in Mid Journey is I'm like, oh, this is great. I should get variations of this. And then I realized, no, the first one really was the best one. Upscale it, upscale it to max, try the remaster to see if that's any better. And then we have our image. Took it into Photoshop, could get rid of the art that's actually on the painting paintings that is in the AI generated art and then generate some new art to put on those canvases so they're actually looking at mid journey art inside of mid journey art which is meta which is the second video I've said meta in in a row which is also kind of meta it's meta with two t's if you if you have to know plus you can't use the one t version of meta because now Facebook gets upset if you do that and they own Instagram so I really want to be on my best behavior in this particular video all right let's remake the comic strip from scratch using stable diffusion so we'll throw in a very similar ooh an email. Oh yeah, new YouTube follower. Thanks, uh, MCO M MCO Fiki. Prompt strength uh, doesn't really matter because we don't have it. We're not going to be using an image here. Yeah, it's in color. It's the only bummer part of it. We'll throw it on the end there. We'll do a comma, pen, and ink style. We'll hit dream again at five twelve. Steps are super low, which tends to work best, I think. Oh, it's good. It's really good. I don't know if I like it better or worse, but it's good. But we're going to try this trick where we uh, turn the prompt strength all the way up, turn the image steps down, turn the image strength up, but then we type couple looking at each other. So we hope it retains all the style information. We just try to get, by turning the prompt strength all the way up to 20, we're just trying to get stable diffusion to turn these couple's heads to looking at each other while keeping everything else about the image the same. Did we get it? 
No, but all the couple's faces in the paintings are now looking at each other. The image is fine. I think we'll keep it for the stable diffusion version of this comment uh, comic. So then I'm going to open up that free Instagram comic template that I've just been talking so much about. And this one's pretty easy because I just need the full page uh, template, uh, the full panel one, maybe the full panel start one so I can put my name or something at the top and then the full panel end one so I can put some more information about this YouTube channel at the end and then the full page middle one from those folders. So three of basically the same template, but for start, middle and end, I'll drag those up to this folder here where I can start kind of assembling my comic. Uh, you create clipping masks, drag the art behind there, move everything where it goes, add the dialogue. This one's going to need, I think, comic bubbles or speech bubbles because there's two characters in every single image. When you have just one character and that character is very obvious, I think in an Instagram comic you can get away without having speech bubbles. See the tree comic that I've probably shown on this video. But if you have two characters, it's a usually good idea to overtly state which one is actually doing the talking. So we'll use comic bubbles here. Just use the pen tool, draw that out, and I think we're good to go there. And then we have the three images that we just need to hide all the layers. Export one image at a time is like page one, page two, page three, or whatever you want to call it. But being that this is a video about the Instagram comic creation process, let's do one of those fun recaps where we take these images, flatten that layer, uh, copy that, put that on the recap image, size it up into that little frame, and then we'll have the comic, which exists on three images, and then the recap of that comic, which all exists on one image at the end. Hey, my name's Aaron. This is Camp Peculiar. If you enjoy this sort of thing, if you're interested in making comics, comic books, books or doing visual storytelling with the support of AI art, give this channel a subscribe, give it a like, let me know what you're working on, or just say hi in the comments below. I almost said in the comics below. That'd be awesome though if there were comics where I could just come to my YouTube channel instead of reading people that are upset that I'm doing AI art, I could just read awesome comics that you guys made. That would be a dream come true. I'll see you next time.